All right, it's range day, and uh, man, it's more of a workout than anything. And I'm packing light, but getting all the equipment in there. Um, I don't know if you guys, you know, struggle with this. I do, but um, every time I go to the range, it's like I want to have fun, you know, practice and stuff. But then it's like I also want to go to get content because I'm not there all the time. So then I feel overwhelmed because it's like I got to worry about content. I got to worry about well, not worry, but you know, I'm working on get this thing higher i'm working on content then i'm also working on just practice and then i'm working on getting content for companies and products that get sent out to me so it's like a whole ordeal when i'm going to the range but it's so fun i wouldn't trade it for the world but start packing up the vehicle got the gun bag i'm packing light today i only have one ar in here that i'm going to be uh taking to the range with me of course, got my vest with all my patches on there. So that's going to the range with me. Now this, I am stoked. You guys, if, follow you, my, if you guys follow my Instagram, you guys seen this before, but red eye target. Heavy, but I don't go to the range without it. I'll show you guys that when I get down there. Um, but it's a must have. And then we got this massive boy. I actually got this bag from Ross, I think. So like 35 bucks and it literally fits everything that I, fits everything that I need. You know, the ammo, the gloves, the, the belt, the reloading mechanisms that I have that I'll show you as well. And then, um, I even have a portable speaker, glasses, headphones, all that stuff in that bag. So that thing comes in clutch. And then my first time using these bad boys. Um, yeah, this is from Red Eye Targets as well. They sent this out as well as that target system. I'll show you guys. So this is my first time actually using like this cardboard in general, like shooting cardboard shaped like this. So that'll be fun. So. I'm doing this whole vlog, all of my content, shooting everything on my phone. <sighs> love, love technology. You don't have to bring a whole bunch of cameras anymore. The phone is honestly enough to get what you need. So guys, I literally had a nightmare last night and it almost came true. My, my nightmare was I pulled up to the gate for my gun range and I didn't have my key. So you can't get in without the key card. That would have been terrible. And I literally was driving down the street and I was like, oh my gosh, my key card. So crisis averted, we secured the bag. You guys can see i'm going to zoom in it's slanted downward so when you shoot you know it's not ricocheting back at you so you can you can be at a pretty close distance as you can see uh we're probably like i don't know between 25 and 50 yards um i know it's a pretty drastic difference but i'm not good with my measuring so but we're still pretty close to it and uh never had a problem with it so this thing super easy to pick up um so that's why i take it to the range with me because i can't those ones over here those are just pistols rated and that came with the range so you uh, you can't shoot obviously with ar so that's when that one comes in clutch because i can use that for AR. so it's nice comes in handy and uh it's just spray painted whenever you need to uh take away all that all right i've been here gosh i don't even know Oh, uh, where's my watch at? I just took it off. Oh, uh, let's see. It's 140. So I've been here for like an hour and I've just been recording content the whole time for the company. Um, so 
man, now I'm already tired. And I'm just like, you know, do I get more content to, to just keep getting more content? Or should I just like relax and actually enjoy myself? That's what I'm struggling with right now. But um, I, think, I think we're just going to start enjoying ourselves. And if I need to get more content, I'll come back another day. But let's just uh, shoot some guns. All right, so I'm trying to do two shots AR, head, three with a pistol, body shot. So I'm gonna go slow, I'm gonna really practice, um, just get the hang of it. So that's the drill I'm doing. All right, let's go see how we did. I've been doing terrible. I've been doing terrible. Just a forewarning. Don't expect anything crazy, all right? All right, let's see what the AR. I've been hitting really. So I got that one, that one. Um, And it looks like this one might be new. Oh wait, no, I only did two, whoops. So that one, that one, and then three body shots with my pistol. So we got one right there. Let's see, where's the other one? Hmm. Either I just really, really, oh yeah, there's another one. Way up yonder, that's terrible. Um, I don't even know how that one happened. It looked like there's another one right here. So yeah, as you can see, it's kind of going right most of my shots, so maybe I just need to rework my red dot. I haven't sighted it in since I bought the gun, which is like a year ago, which is no excuse um, because I, I'm pretty sure red dot should stay pretty zeroed in for a while. But hey, if I'm wrong and it's the red dot, that would make me feel better. But terrible, still not the best up there, which, which we can get better up there. But yep, that's what we're looking like. I gotta show you guys this cool loading tool because I use it at the range every time I come. So you just put the mag right in there. And what you can do is how, you know, the nine mils come in the box. You can just go row by row and slide it through. But since I take it out of the box, I just do it one by one. Um, does it save time? I feel like it, it is a little faster. And it's a little less work on your thumbs. So. Now that you have the mag in there, then you'll put it in like so, and then you just put the pressure down, and your mag is good to go. So I just repeat all the other mags. Um, if I remember, I'll leave a link to this down below. Um, yeah, I'm just using my fingers now, but who cares? Um, gonna leave that link down below if I remember, but it's pretty cheap. I think it's I think it's well worth it save some time when you need it but since i'm only doing like you know three or four in a mag right now i don't need it i'm putting um different amounts in each mag so i can you know train reloads and stuff like that because i'm terrible at the reloads as you just witnessed over there i haven't shot in three months at least and um even before that i wasn't even a great shooter to begin with so I need to practice big time, um, and that's why we're here. So I'm gonna keep messing up, but I'm here to document it, so let's go.
this vlog might be less of me shooting and more talking. I'm doing trash. I'm trash out here. Got a lot of practice to do. But that's why we're out here, you know, right? Practice makes perfect. But I got a cigar, so just going to relax. Because the beginning portion was just getting the, uh, you know, the footage, like I was saying, for the products. Which that's tiring in itself. Um, and then I tried to shoot some, which you've seen, trash. So instead of getting mad and leaving, I'm just going to relax for a quick second. And hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to relax for a quick second. Um, this is also like smoking a cigar. The reason I like smoking cigars is because it, it kind of like forces, forces you. It like forces you to relax and just take a breather. So this is kind of the time where I just literally just relax, decompress, talk to the Lord, pray a little bit. You know, just think about life and stuff. And then we'll get back to it. You know? Cigars kind of have that effect where it kind of just like re-energizes me. It's probably because like I'm like focusing, you know, putting my focus back on things and kind of just recharging. And then I got the sweet tea, so I'm just really chilling. Got the shade on me, so it feels nice. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am drenched with sweat because of that, that vest. So it feels really nice taking that off. I might even just keep it off for the rest of the day too because... Um, I just really need to focus on just hitting the targets and reloading and all that stuff. So I'm just going to keep it up and then um, we'll just call it a day after that. But like I said, I'm just chilling. Just chilling. All right. I decided to end it there um, after the cigar. I didn't do much. So here's a little POV for Instagram. But yeah, this range day was... Um, it was much needed, but I was super rusty from not going like for three months. And honestly, I I honestly just started uh, this as a hobby not too long ago. So I'm trash. I'm trying to get better. You can follow me on my journey if you'd like. And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you'd like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.